Hey there, winos. This is Vince.Wine. You know, so the whole purpose of my channel is just to have fun. I really want to have a good time sharing my wine knowledge with you winos. I want you to click on this channel, not just for education, but for wine edutainment. So in the spirit of that, I want to keep sharing with you winos more Stella Rosa. You know, Stella Rosa wines are just exactly that. They're a lot of fun. You know, they're not meant to be taken crazy seriously. I just want to enjoy them, celebrate, or celebrate, if you will. And just have a laugh and have a drink. It's non-alcoholic. Have a... Have a drink. So let's pop the cork on Stella Rosa Golden Honey Peach and Stella Rosa Peach Non-Alcoholic on today's Stella Rosa Spotlight. So it is, uh, it is raining. It's uh, cold and wet and raining. And uh, this is my second Stella Rosa Spotlight. <laughs> in the cold, wet rain. Stella, please don't cancel me. <laughs> okay, well, I first want to pop the cork on the Golden Honey Peach. So I've seen this around, and as ever with Stella Rosa, I really love the presentation of Stella Rosa bottles. They're so gorgeous just to look at. They kind of look pretty on any tabletop. Um, their crown crest right here and the crown crest, I kind of haven't really pointed that out in previous videos. Oh, by the way, if you want to go check out my last Stella Rosa video, which was also in the rain, um, click it right here. I'll leave a link. I cover blueberry and black in that video. <laughs> that didn't really pop. I thought it was going to pop. So as I recall, I think they recently um, rebranded this wine. I think it was just like peach or something or honey peach. And now it's the golden honey peach and aptly named. Look at that really beautiful color there. It's just got a really nice sort of pale straw. The wine is star bright as well. And you can see some of those little bubbles in there. So Stella Rosa wines are going to be semi sparkling and semi sweet. So again, they're just meant to be these really fun, sort of approachable and celebratory wines. So with that in mind, I'll treat it as I would any other wine and take the nose. Oh my gosh, this is so fragrant. This is really beautiful. It, it kind of reminds me of a bouquet of white flowers. It's really floral. And I'm also getting something kind of tropical in there. It has a little bit of melon in there. And oh, duh, that's probably the, it's honey, right? So it's probably that honeydew melon sort of thing that I'm getting there. But um, it comes off more as like a, is a green melon a honeydew melon? <laughs> I, think, I think it is honeydew melon. Okay, I'm getting honeydew melon off of the gold golden honey peach. Um, yeah, really strong. And then there, there are these sort of like orange fruit notes in there. So I'm getting some, a little bit of orange, maybe like orange blossom. Oh, and then I'm getting some like stone fruit in there too. So a little bit of like apricot, a little bit of peach, really pretty. It reminds me a little bit of Moscato also. Okay, let's get this on the palette. It's raining. And my friend's back. Just realized that I didn't show you guys, but I had a hummingbird friend kind of hanging out with me. So you might see him today. We're going to name him Stella. So, you know, one of the things that I always immediately love about Stella Rosa is mouthfeel. Gosh, this wine always hits me in all the right places. It's just rich and full and sparkly. So it's a very attractive feeling on the palate. It enters really crisp and lively, but at the same time, it's got a weightiness to it as well, which I really appreciate. This is um, always a pleasant experience. Now, another thing that makes me happy about Stella wines and particularly this golden honey peach is is it doesn't lean too far in any one direction. The wine is pretty balanced in that it's not going to be overly sickling sweet. It is just sweet enough to add a little bit of weightiness and some texture to the wine and some really sort of caramely, honey, peachy things on the finish as well. That, that sweetness sort of carries the body of the wine and I really do appreciate that. And then it's semi-sparkling or frizzante, which means it's not gonna be like this really, you can see there's not like a ton of bubbles fizzing up from the glass or anything like that. It just lends to a lively, bright palette. And for that reason, these wines are always so enjoyable. Okay, now if you've joined me before on my Stella Rosa Spotlight videos, um, I've pointed out that these wines are imported wines. The grapes here do come from Italian vineyards. And just like any Italian wine, these wines actually do make good food wines. Remember, the rule of thumb is beat 
the heat with sweet. So with a semi-sweet wine like this, I would enjoy actually a little bit of spicy foods, beat the spicy heat with sweet wine. So some sort of maybe like Thai food or other like Indo-Pacific or Asian foods that have some spice in it would probably go really well with this. I might even go all the way to certain Spanish and Hispanic cuisines as well that have a little spiciness. I'm thinking more Thai, the like peanut sauces and spice. And then of course you can't beat cheese and fruit pairings as well. A variety of cheeses are probably gonna be pretty happy with this and I could just see sort of like a picnic basket here in the gorgeous rainy day. Uh, a picnic basket with sort of grapes and different cheeses as well and I'd probably have a pretty good time with this wine. Okay, I checked out the website um, before I popped the screw cap on this wine and <laughs> I love one of the things it said which was that some people think that extra is too much but Stella Rosa thinks that extra is not enough and I love that because I kind of feel like my channel's a bit extra so we make a good pairing. Okay, not bad. The finish was uh, fairly decent. I can actually still taste it right here. It's not overly complex. It gives you everything really straightforward. And sometimes that's just kind of the wine that you need. An easy kickback, fun, celebratory, flavorful experience. Now for something a little non-traditional. Let's try some non-alcoholic wine. So this is the Stella Rosa Naturals, and this is their non-alcoholic line. This is their peach flavor, and I thought, well, hey, since we just had honey peach, let's see how the peach flavor does on its own. I actually don't have a ton of experience with non-alcoholic wines, so I'm really excited to see what I'm gonna get from this. Is it just gonna be straight up juice, or is there gonna be a little bit more going on with it? Premium non-alcoholic beverage, natural peach flavors, and I imagine it's gonna be semi-sparkling as well. Yeah, light and bubbly. Okay, and it's gonna be good for cotton cocktails or mocktails as well. Let's see how it does straight up. There was that pop I wanted. As I pour this, wow, take a look at that color. This kind of reminds me a little bit of simple syrup looking. Um, it's really, really pale. It kind of has a watery color. It reminds me a little bit of the Stella Rosa pineapple flavor, which I actually put in a cocktail. I did a really cool sort of ice cream type thing. It is too cold today for that, but um, I can put a link to that video as well. Go check that one out. Okay, let's go ahead and take the nose. Oh, that is extremely perfumey. It's got a pretty big nose and yeah, it's definitely all peach for sure so that you're, you're, you're getting what you paid for there okay and it's not going to be overly complex and nor should it be but let's just get it on the palate and see how it does this is so satisfying uh i really wasn't sure what to expect it's very round and it's very rich and it's not syrupy and that was sort of my main concern it looked a little like simple syrup i was afraid that it was going to taste like simple syrup it is once again balanced it's not overly sweet at all all. Don't think like LaCroix where it's like hint of hint of peach. No, this is really full of peach flavor without being overbearing. It is totally weighty and totally silky and totally rich. And then that frizzantiness, those bubbles actually give it a lively palate. So that's what I mean when I say it is a satisfying experience. And I can imagine if you needed to step away from alcohol for a bit, this is actually kind of a nice place to go because it gives you that really satisfying palate experience. Oh man, I I can smell that sort of all day, that's, that's pretty nice. And then of course, yeah, I could easily see this as the base for a nice peach cocktail. Okay, the rain is just coming down on me now, so I'm gonna end this one right here. At the end of the day, I think um, the, the peach non-alcoholic ended up being a fairly interesting wine for not having any alcohol. And actually, now that I, I actually put a little more for myself, now that I'm spending a little more time with the golden honey, I, I have to tell you, I think this is probably the best Stella Rosa wine I've ever had. Um, and that's kind of saying a lot. Actually, I take that back. The, the Brichetto de Aquí is, is probably the best Stella Rosa wine I've ever had. Had, and I'll link to that one as well. That one is is phenomenal. But as far as the sort of line of, of just flavors, um, this is probably the best I've ever had. So I'm actually quite en uh, enjoying drinking this and I think I'll go ahead and finish this glass today, if not the entire bottle. All right, Winos, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to share this video with your wine friends, like it, subscribe to this channel if you want to be a wino. I put out new videos every single Saturday. Okay, I'm really rooting for blue skies on the next Stellarosa Spotlight. Until then, Winos, drink safe and drink well.